Today's presentation is brought to you by SouthTexasDieCast.com. Their Hot Wheel Guide is a fantastic reference tool for collectors of all ages. These Hot Wheels 3 packs are found at Walmart here in the USA. Even though there are three cars, you'd think it'd be $3, but it's actually $3.99. I'm not sure why they charge a dollar more, but I think it's more for a, as a gift for someone to buy and give a child as a nice little uh, affordable gift. The only thing is that uh, $2 off track set coupon uh, expired. This is already January 2013, but the uh, coupon is only good for through the end of last year. You can see this coupon underneath the uh, WRX under there. But the reason I picked this one up uh, is for that Vega. Now, uh, Hot Wheels, they had various cars that they, they put in the track sets and play sets. Um, I picked up the uh, Team Hot Wheels 20 pack last year to get this bone shaker and had 19 other cars and maybe half of those cars were like uh, colors that were uh, only going to be in the track sets and play sets and the other half were regular issues. So I picked up a nice assortment, get some uh, special colors of cars that were not going to be in the basics. But then after I bought it, I seen one of the 20 packs had the Chevy Vega. And I was like, doggone it, Chevy Vega is my first car. So that's one of the models that I like to uh, buy every color of. Um, but I'm not going to spend another $20, get another 20 pack. So I let it go. I kept waiting for it to go on sale, and it never did. But, um, so you know what, for four bucks, I'm going to go ahead and buy this now. I'm going to get my Vega, so I'm basically paying two bucks for the Vega. And then you get the other couple of cars for a dollar each. Uh, here we have the Lamborghini Aventador, which uh, I opened up in my case unboxing. As a matter of fact, I put it on my four lane downhill track while I'm opening this up. Why don't you, why don't you watch some uh, slow motion footage. Now that you're back, let's take a look at that uh, Chevy Vega. And like I said, you know, I picked this up because it was my uh, first car, and I like to I like to have all the color variations of the Chevy Vega. Now I don't collect every color of every car, but uh, what about you guys? Are there particular? Is, is there a particular car that if it showed up in a three pack that you know what? Even though you like to collect stuff carded, would you pick up a three pack if you found out that the only color of that car was going to be in the uh, three pack? I've done it a couple times. One time there was one, I think a manta ray I picked up. Now let's take a quick look at the other two cars. The Subaru WRX STI. This was the uh, this one's in the single packages. This is a regular car in the uh, night 2013 Night Burner series, and um, it's all right to have another one for me. And then uh, this one's going to be very nice. This one's probably going to be uh, tough to find on the pegs. It's just very very nice job. Love the uh, flat or the matte black. I looked it up, by the way. You guys were saying, oh, it's not flat, that's matte. That's not matte, that's flat. I looked it up, and on the Internet, it just kind of seemed that uh, those terms are kind of interchangeable. But uh, if not, you know, I'm not here to uh, argue semantics. Anyways, that car right there is the Lamborghini Aventador. It's had a, a few colors. And this one's probably my favorite. The orange one was okay, the first one was nice, orange, but the second, the gray one, that's now my second favorite color. Uh, but this this black one is definitely my uh, pick of the litter so far for the Lamborghini Aventador, as far as the colors go. Anyway, there's a look at the, this Hot Wheels 3-pack, and post a comment, what kind of cars, if they wound up in a multi-pack, would you just have to buy it? Um, or if you're just a single pack collector, just uh, go ahead and post that as well. Thanks again for South Texas Diecast for sponsoring this episode. Now let's take in case the uh, the uh, Chevy Vega there, the custom V8 Vega. If I wanted to know what colors had been released, I go to South Texas Diecast. 
www.vega.com. I visit the Hot Wheel Guide. Search for the custom V8 Vega. Wham! There you go. There's a list of cars that have been released. He has uh, one of the most complete reference guides on the internet. As for uh, more videos that I have, click on the Aventador to see the orange one when it made a special sneak appearance at the Hot Wheels convention. Click on the Vega for a voting. Mattel is going to take some votes for next year's releases, so I have a link to a video for that. Or click on the Bone Shaker to see the Team Hot Wheels 20 pack that I was talking about. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.